Yep. Back out. Again, it's lovely weather. Summer's here eventually. Hello, summer. Ooh. Oh no, it's a river crossing. Don't do it. I saw. Um, what was I saying? Yes, the summer. I think this is about third camp in a row where it's been nice. What's happening? I've turned a corner. I'm just going up there tonight. Can't be bothered to go too far. It's getting on, right? Had a hard week. I'm tired. Irritable. I'm not really irritable. And, uh, well, no, I just fancy a little night out. Because tomorrow, tomorrow I'm going to be stuck in the van. I'm not doing a van video, but I've got, I've got an audit at the end of this month. So everything has to be just so you cast accreditation. Anybody knows what that means? It's basically an examination for people who work in the construction industry, testing laboratories and that. The paperwork is a mountain. Just can't keep up because we're so busy at work. Like through the week, just keep getting dragged onto the, uh, dragged away to building sites to do sampling and testing. And I can't get the UCAS done, the paperwork. So I have to do it the weekends. Last week I did a lower in the van, it was great. Just sat with the door open next to the coast. A couple of beers at the side, just tapping away on the old laptop. So yeah, I'll get a bit more of that done tomorrow because in one week from today, I think, I'm going to be in Scotland, me and wee Rab. We're heading off on our annual vacation. So there won't be, this video will go out on Tuesday. I'll publish this video on Tuesday. There's another video coming out where I review an electric bike which is, the bike is unbelievable it's unbelievable that bike I know that's not everybody's cup of tea but you know I think that's the last thing I've got to review though I'm done after that no more reviews until the next one like anyway this is a long introduction so oh, we can keep going up and around the back, and then come around the back of it. Yep. Whew. Nearly there. Bit steep. Very steep. We've just got top of here to go and um, oh, that's it really I pitch up in my new tent there's no paid promotion in this right the tent I've got I bought that and I'll tell you why later on it's beer o'clock there's no time for getting old at beer o'clock, we crack a can and it's probably still cold. And there's a world outside your window. <laughs> yep, I've lost it. Well, I've arrived at my um, destination. See, it's up on Green Humbleton. It's just a, um, it's just a short walk, right? But it's one that I've seen. Uh, Derek from the Mountain Men, I think he was here last week. It's another one of those Chinese forts that the Romans built. So it goes all the way around. Should have a drone. Why, why have I not brought the drone? You could see that, um, you could see how it's built then from the top. But yeah, look at these rolling views, man. Just amazing views. These hills on their own are great because, uh, well, there's loads of views. That's where we were 
me and Derek the other week up on there, up on Cold's Mouth. Um, Eccles Crag, aye, that was it. So over there is the English border. That, where the trees are, there's a wall. I don't know if you can make it out, but that's the border. So I'm on the Scottish side tonight. So it's all legal <laughs> and above board. And I brought me a little chair just to sit. Uh, it's lovely, just sat there. My little Pathfinder chair. I've had that for years. So good. Look at the, look at the drop over the edge though. Hoo -hoo. Good job I'm not on the Waski with blot. I'd be doing there in the river, face down. I'm not even joking. Would be. I right, thought so I'm just gonna have a little can. Sit and chill out. This is my spot here. It's nice and flat there. It's nice and soft. The grass as well. It's not. It's not wet. I've checked with my hands. Hands are dry. I'll set my tent up and then I'll show you around the tent. Budget tent, right? Lightweight budget tent. It's popular. I mean, every there's a lot of people who use them. The Fox, the OEX Fox. It's not a secret. But I thought. I've been asked a lot of times, you know, like, oh, what's a, what's a good tent? You know, we can't we can't afford Hillybergs and all these other expensive tents. And I mean, to be fair, I couldn't afford a Hillyberg now. Right now, I couldn't afford a Hillyberg. I just save up for it. I saved up, and I did some wheeler dealering with other tents to get that. So I'm not rich. I just uh, I was just shrewd, and I got it when the first came out. So it was like. 150 quid cheaper than what it is now black label solo but the fox i thought yeah i'll get one of them i went to go outdoors in berwick and it was on the shelves right for 80 quid and i thought that's not what it was on the website on the website it was 65 pound but on the shelves it was 80 so i took it to the counter and i said is that right like is that 80 quid and she put it through the till and she went no it's 65 and I'm like, right, so why is it not marked up on the shelf? 65? Oh no, online price only. How does that work? What the? Oh, it was their shop was saying it was 65 quid. I don't understand why it was marked for 80. Anyway, I'm waffling. I got it for 65 quid. So I've had it up in the garden. It, you can't sit up in it. I mean, it is small. This is another reason I brought the chair. You can't really sit up in it. But it's big inside, it's bigger than you think. It's definitely a one-man tent. This is the 1v2, like the updated version. The older one didn't have the um, the inner, it was inner pitch first. I mean, that one is there. But what you do is you tie the inner to the fly sheet, or you tie the fly sheet to the inner, and then you can, you can put it up and down that way. You don't need to split it. So it really is fly first at the same time so if it's raining you just pull the fly sheet over oh, you put the poles in you lift the fly sheet back put the poles in which went in really easily by the way i've read i've seen some videos and they were struggling to get the poles in they might they might have addressed that they were dead easy that took me about two or three minutes to put it up in the garden in the day um but yeah so maybe they've done improvements i, I don't know i didn't have the old version but for 65 quid, it's tiny and all, it only weighs 1.6 kilos. That includes with the poles. And it's very low profile, so it should shed the wind. I've got the wind coming this way. So I'm gonna put it like, well, I'll work it out. I'll work out how, I don't want it side on, I just want it lengthways. But yeah, so let's see how that looks there. Eh? I'm gonna have a beer first and then we'll, we'll get it set up and I'll show you around. But for people wanting a lightweight backpacking tent, just to, you know, I think this might be quite good. And I've bought this, I paid for this, I didn't get it for free. So, you know, I can slag it off if it's crap. <laughs> Which I will, if it's crap. Oh, just on the first beer, hoard. Northern Rock Hazy IPA, 7%, start with the 7%. I'm definitely going down there tonight, like down that river. Let's have a taste. Now, I taste like. 
Oh. Uh. You know when you stroke a horse and you sniff your hand. That's what it tastes like. Horses wipe. Ugh. Horses wipe. Anyway, there's the fix. So see, all I've done is uh, just all I've done is peg them bits down, put the poles in. They went in so easily. I'll just clip in. They just clip in here to these, and then you. So this is already tied on. So I don't think it was on the old version. On the older version, all the seams are taped. So 5,000 millimeter hydrostatic head. It's meant to be like most waterproof tent to make. Van Gogh's always are though. Just wonder what the condensation's gonna be like. It's got vents, sorry. It's got vents here. It's got guy lanes here with them silly ring things on. I don't like them. Don't know how to work them. But yeah, you just pull it. You just pull it over, and it's. Uh, oh, that's it. inside so it is quite big and you can stash your gear on that side there's so two doors it'll be opening these two doors though for the, the wind coming through you know let the draft come through it's quite a solid mesh so it might be warm a few frays look frayed yeah I saw this bit of string walking down the road I says, are you, uh, it was tied in the middle, you know? I says, are you all right? You tied in the middle there? He says, oh yeah, I'm, I'm afraid not. <laughs> afraid not. Shut up, man. Shut up. Yeah, so you put the fly sheet on, and then these clips clip on here. They clip into there. Make sure it's not tangled. Oh. Oh. You know when you try to do it with one hand? I need an assistant to film. Anybody? Any volunteers? You won't get paid. All right, so that goes on there and then you pull that tight. And then you hook these onto the pegs. Oh, I'll put separate pegs in. There's another vent there. There's another vent there with the, the rain cover on it. It's, it's not bad. You know if you're doing the West Highland Way or anything? Or you just want a stealthy little tent camp. It's like a, it's like a bivvy, more more bivvy, isn't it? It's like a big bivvy. Uh, oh, excuse me. I actually quite like it. But I like all tents, really. You're not a wild camper if you don't like all tents. <laughs> You know everybody who says like, oh this tent's better than that tent, that tent's better than this tent. Doesn't matter man, doesn't matter. Tent is a tent. Any tent will do me. Honestly I would sleep in a bin bag. <laughs> I think I might be tonight. Anyway look, I'm going to get this up and uh, all tightened up and then we'll come back. So, we've got everything set up now. Inside, oh, this ties back. We've got the, a light to a mat, which just fits mine. There's a bit of headroom at the top. I've got this three season bag. I'll probably, probably be throwing that off because it's really warm. But that's all, it's all guyed out. It's good, vents are open. There's not two doors, I thought there was two doors. There's two doors on the inside, in the inner, but there's not, that's not a door. But on the inner there is. I've put the, I've put the backpack in there. It's nice. I've just been trying to put that bleeding Alp kit table together. It's increased us. Oh, there we are, Fox 1v2 OEX. It's not moving in the wind. Even if it was windy, look how steady it is, it's solid like. Everybody does that, don't they? If you're a proper tent enthusiast, as soon as you see a tent, you, you're rattling it, aren't you? <laughs> it's true. I've brought with this tonight, just in case of midges, which I doubt, this Deep Woods Formula Insect Repellent 
they're like um, wet wipes and you just wipe wipe them on yourself it's supposed to keep everything off mosquitoes oh that's it that's the end of that gone Let's see if they were, well, I don't think I'm going to be using them tonight it's a nice breeze to keep them away also I brought the tick twister you know when you've got them tiny little ticks and you want to get them off these very very fine I got one off in uh, Scotland last year with them and it got really really it was a tiny little one and I got it nice just got its little heed in there and just turned it out so they're on Amazon tick twisters again I paid for them I bought them I bought the towelettes as well what's wrong with this buying things something not right so, uh, deep woods insect repellent Zika dengue or West Nile virus I mean I think that's a bit over the top in it for this country but if it keeps them off you or stop them biting you that's the thing uh, so I've got a, a selection of beers some uh, North Bruin Co, Shipwrecked, Tram, Heathen, and Faith in the Future's Tank Petrol. Tank Petrol, you know. I'm going to need a little article table, which I can't get shut probably that stove. I've got my frying pan with my bait in there. I've got, uh, let's have a look, I'll just pull everything out. I might have a pasty now. I'm a little bit hungry. I've got a Philly cheese steak bake. I only get these because they're cheap. They're on offer. Normally about 150. But these were a quid. Meatball marinara. See people think oh, I spend too much money. I'm tight as a fish as a chorizo and gouda roll it us. Chorizo. Meat and cheese selection, which I probably won't eat. And for my main fry up, I've got if I can just get it out some uh, sweet and sour boneless pork ribs which means there's going to be no waste so I'm just scoff the lot without having to worry about bones everywhere let's just fry them up later on I'll have them later I'm looking forward to them look nice got my radio got signal let's get the radio on all right so I'll just tie this back that ties up here let's look it could be a little bit, uh, it could be a little bit smaller, couldn't it? It's a huge big loop. It just keeps coming out. Anyway, I'll sort it. So you've got a little porch there. And this fly sheet extends out here. So you have got a little cooking area here. Although I wouldn't recommend it. And you won't be able to sit up. Unless you're two feet tall. So, you know, it's got its little, little negative points, but oh, I don't know. I'll be alright. All right, so I'm just gonna sit and chill out and have the beer. Probably come back when we're cooking on gas. Anybody seen me short? I'm gonna be lighting that, light the gas that I filled up with that little device. And see if that flares up. Probably set fire to the tent, burn it down. That's the end of the night. Off the can, yam. Sleep in the van. There's always a plan B. on the top a little bit of a breeze there like unexpected breeze but it's nice man a nice warm breeze as well it's coming from the south which is what you want really keep the creatures off you so all oh, this is uh wait scotland we're off the border now it's rolling 
hills. Really need to do some research on these hills. Coming up plenty. I want to say Dumfries and Galloway over there. Maps Green Humbleton Hill. Have a look at it. It's mad. It's a proper, it's a proper Chinese Roman built fort. It's like the Great Wall of China, but in Scotland. Right. See what I mean about the views? The 360 view. There's nothing. There's nothing like blocking your view. Like right, puffing there, but. When we were up on Cole's mouth, you can see the coast, it was, there was definitely nothing. I think that's that's probably the highest point around here, Cole's mouth. Looks like. oh, I think I'll be doing a bit more camping up here in the summer. You know, when you get all the crowds and all that coming to the lakes and... Uh, I don't know, I'm not good with crowds. I'm not good with crowds. I'm just not good with people. Anti-social. I just lay down in the grass before to film myself sitting chilling out and I, I lay down on a nettle. I nettled my nipple. You were nettled your nipple. Oof. It's stinging. Doesn't like it. Don't like it. But yeah, this is see. Vantage point, you see. That's why they built so many forts here. Because there's so many lonely hills and they've got the views, 360 views. So if anybody attacks tell those borders. Makes sense really. See I'm just parked down there. Look at them trees are. Can you see my little white van? Can I? No I can't. No. I think I'm further over this way. I don't know. Not far anyway. Not far. And in the morning I think I'll just pile down the front of it there. Didn't fancy coming up it. But I don't mind going down it. Ah, it's lovely. It's lovely. Short walk, easy to get to. I've been doing some walking through the week just to get a bit of fitness up. So this this was only about well, it was less than a mile, and it was an out. I got up in about 20 minutes. So the fitness is coming. So we're going away on a trip, me and Rob, next week. So, like last year, I might film, we're going to be camping, we're not, he hasn't got a van, we're going to go in his car and take the tents. So we are going to be camping, I don't know how wild we're going to be, but I'll do some video footage because the scenery is spectacular, you know, the white sandy beaches and that mad cliffs and rugged rocks and all the rest of it, so... Yeah, I'll do a bit of filming on the trip. So there might not be, um, after this video, there'll be the electric bike review. You don't have to watch that, you know, don't have to. But it just needs doing. I happen to like it, the electric bike. It's really good, but you can only use it on private roads again. What I need is an electric bike, which you can use on the normal roads, public in public, that would be a good one. I think DYU were going to send us one, but I've never heard now back. 250 watt, 250 watts, because they're dead handy, you know. See, like, if you've hurt your knee or your back or whatever, you've got an injury, or you're just too old to ride a bike normally. They, they're good, electric bikes. You pedal along, put the pedal assist on, you're just pedaling, and it pulls you along, you know what I mean? So you're pedaling with no effort. See, if you come to, like a hill, pedal assist takes over you're still pedaling but it's just pulling you along I mean you do get exercise obviously not as much as you would if you were just on your own but yeah, I don't know if you don't like electric bikes just don't bother watching it's simple as that but uh, yeah that's the last review I've got the last review till the same as something else I'm gonna look at uh, I'm gonna look at tents only I think I'm just going to do tents reviews, like tents, bivvies, tops, that sort of thing, shelters, 
because that's what I think that's what people want, isn't it? They want to know what's a good tent. This is a great little tent. This I like it. It's very claustrophobic though, and you can't sit up in it. So that's your negatives. That solid mesh inner is a little bit uh, consuming, a little bit claustrophobic. But uh, there, you just you just unroll it, you know, just roll it up, roll it up, not unroll it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Right, well, I'm waffling on, so. So yeah, that's the plans. That's the plans for the channel. That's the direction the channel is going, right? I'm gonna stop, cut right back on the reviews. No torches, um, they're about stoves. That, that depends on popular opinion. I mean, that Mars Radiant stove is excellent. And the uh, the alcohol stove I had as well, I haven't brought that with us today. That's really good. I love cooking on that. It's your, it's your cheap fire maple, um, your cheap transia alternative, isn't it? And I think they're out now, they're available now. Took them long enough. I kept emailing them asking when they would be out, and they were like, oh yeah, soon, be soon. It took them weeks. I think they lost a couple of sales because of that. But yeah, look at this, you can't beat this. Like. Sunset over there. I got a couple hours before the sunset. Oh, yeah, the watch. I'm still using the watch. It's mint. I can read that now without my glasses. It's so bright. I'm really liking it. I wear it all the time now. I wear it for work. I wear it when I'm not at work. My garments in the drawer. So that's not a flash in the pan. That, that's like three weeks now I've been using that. It's mint. It breaks. I'll let you know if it breaks. But it hasn't so far. £109 they are. £109. And a smartwatch with all them features. You know what I mean? It's just kind of gone wrong. You can make phone calls on it. Everything. It's mad. But I don't have to promote that. Job's done. Just saying, I'm still using it. Right, back to the music and the beer. I'm still on the first car. Just really relaxed. Following on from uh, one of the shorts that I did. This is the gas canister that I filled up. And also, for me regular viewer, who's my biggest fan, Lewis from Roger Bullivant. That's the stove. MSR Wind Pro. So let's see, right? When I fill this up, see if there's any flare-ups, right? This is the first time I'm nervous. Oh no, it's fine. There you go. That was all right. That's the one I filled up with the, uh, the device on the top. It's on one of my shorts. But no, that's working fine. Yeah. Happy with that. No flare-ups. No non-sensory. All good. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this beer and then I'm gonna cook the ribs. I'm also gonna see if I can put the camera out for a time lapse. Sun doesn't go down at five past nine, that's alright, isn't it? Definitely summer like definitely summer. This feels like a proper summer camp. Just one more thing, these skinny little poles on this tent. But look, the, uh, the inner clips to them. You've got clips. They really don't make that much difference to the. That's without the clip. And that's with the clip. <laughs> Bless it. Bless it. Anyway, right. Oh, that's the uh, sunset gone. Bit of a damp squib, wasn't it, really? West. Sun sets in the west. Make your mind up, make your own mind up. That's the north over there. Just hoping for the northern lights, but I've uh, dropped a bit of a clang, I like, because of the big hills in the way. Oh man. <laughs> Red alert for the northern lights, and that's there in the way. If we get. If we get some diggers in excavators, we can move this. 
scoop it up and just take it away. Yeah, I've got my coat on, a little bit chilly with the sun goes down. Still a little bit of a nip in the air, so still take your, you know, your coat for dotting around when you stop. Uh, but uh, it's been a good night. I've enjoyed it. It's nine o'clock now. I'm gonna start cooking me tea because I wasn't really that hungry, but I'm getting there now. Like we're gonna have that. Ah, uh, cool beers. And then just, yeah, just relax into it. It's one of them nights where you just there's nothing to do but relax. It's good. I like it. Here we go then. We have got the sweet and sour boneless pork ribs oh, in the pan. Cook it away. I'm gonna do them. Uh, we'll sear them both sides, and then I'll turn the gas down and just let them cook through. You've got to be careful with pork get it wrong and you're going to spend a lot of time in the wee closet oh I tell you what it's chilly now like but you know it's been worth it I'm looking forward to going to bed this is very cozy it's really flat it's the first flat spot I've had for ages there's no like rolling about it's nice and warm that's a cozy spot that is a cozy spot. Cozy power. But I've worked out the north is actually over there, so we might get some Aurora action. I'll put the camera out. Um, usual crack what I say. If if it's in, it worked. If it's not in, didn't work. What I'll do is leave it out and then in the morning. Uh, I come I come back in the morning and check the footage uh, and we'll, we'll see if it was it any good or not do you get any red or green lights there is an alert like a, a red alert for the aurora my phone's going crazy people texting if that's you stop it <laughs> nah it's just it's wee rab actually just checking in he's pulled a muscle in his leg so he needs to get recovered he's got a week to recover because we'll go away on Saturday. Yeah. Anyway, let's just have a look at these. Ooh, boneless pork ribs. How does that work? How the hell? How the hell can you have boneless ribs? Hold on. That's not right, is it? Is it? Looking good though. Things I've got now to go on with it. Oh, they're cooking nice. They smell lovely. I'm just keep getting waffles. Nice. God, I'm hungry now, like. Amazing, isn't it? When you start cooking, you get hungry. That's it. Char grilled pork barbecue boneless ribs. How can they be ribs if they've got no bones in them? It's ribs, not the bone. Ah. Okay, there they are. I've cooked them really well. Maybe it's a bit too well. They've got a lovely char grill flavour though. I'll tell you what. Somebody might say they're burnt, but no. They're lovely. Ah, well. Well, folks. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to stuff my face. And, uh Drink me beer, and that's about 
don't really. I do some impressions. I'll do an impression, right? Now then, now then. Better touch some water. Water. <laughs> no. No. I'm going to have these. And we'll come back for a little chat. Maybe there's a little bit of daft carry on. And then I'm going to retire to my boudoir. My boudoir. I'll tell you what it is. It is absolutely really, really cosy in there. Look at that, man. <laughs> I love little little tents like this. I really do. I know a lot of people like the big space and all that. I mean, I do as well, but little tents like this where you're just you're just in there. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Weird, isn't it? Anyway. Well, sitting here chilling out oh chilling being the word but, but freezing all of a sudden it's gone really cold this is what happens though isn't it around about this time of year see the clear sky moon a few stars because there's no cloud cover it gets cold and that's when the condensation comes and seeing that there is no that's dry as a bone you know when um, it's warm during the day and then the temperature drops overnight so the, the dew point is high and that's when you get the condensation on the tents normally I mean that couldn't be any more vented could it? it's getting a good airflow through it so it shouldn't get any maybe when I zip it up it might but at the minute it's doing well uh. Oh, I'm tired. I'm just sitting here watching the, uh, well, watching the sun go down, watching the sky. Get my hat and torch off. Oh, it's been a good night. It's been a really good night. Yes. Mmm. Very good, that. Um, the pork chops, I mean, the ribs. Nice very mice and uh oh not sure well that's a really there's no and there's no and there so we're just waiting now right this is the crack for the aurora to appear it's been a red alert it says it might be visible with the eye Eye, right, and the camera over there, north. But so far, now, like it's got to be, it's got to be really dark because there's a tiny sliver of a moon, isn't there? So that's not going to wash it out. So it should be all right. I don't know. I'll put the camera out. I've got to put it out. We'll see. We'll see what transpires. This is a little pitch here. Oh, I love it. It's great. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. I just brighten this thing up. There, yeah, that's it. That's better. I right, so when I get in, I want to be nice and cosy and warm because it's cold now. And uh, I think I'll be alright. I don't. I don't think I'll be too claustrophobic in that. I'll, make, I'll shut this. I'll shut this a bit like. So, I'm gonna say, right? I'm gonna say good morning. I'm gonna go to bed. And I'm gonna leave the camera out. So, if we have the aurora, if after this section there is this amazing aurora. And it was good but if it's just me going uh, morning cameras then the aurora wasn't very good you never know do you you just never know so what do you think oex fox i like it Oh, if you're expecting a tent where you can sit up and like move around and all that, forget that. Don't get that. 
but if you want the one that's going to be a good shelter with some good storage i mean look at that that's huge and this comes out and inside is quite big as well we'll have a look at that in the morning right we'll have a look at the interior in the morning because i'll have the door shut but there is plenty of room in the porch if you think about it right this this here this corner goes to that corner matches up so that you've got quite a bit of space there and i got the backpack through that other that other door there so yeah quite impressive right waffled enough we shall bid you good night that light's a bit bright and uh See you in the morning. Just in case it works, right? Cue the music. Well, here I am, here I am, it's the morning, that was a nice display, or, edit that bit, oh, there was nothing to see. <laughs> I've looked at the footage though, there was lights, so that'll be in uh, this tent. What do you think? small on it I mean I mean like everything's in and the, the backpack's in there I've got a headroom here it's a bit cramped Let's push that oh well I'm gonna get up have a cup of tea and then head down and find somewhere some breakfast. Oh, blimey. <laughs> Have another hour. Have some breakfast and then dunno, just make it up as I go along. We'll see you when we're packing away. Out, out. I'll tell you something else. It's dry as a bone. There's no condensation at all. Not a drop. That's quite impressive. I did have this door open, but I had that door shut. So yeah, good. Very good. This is one of them camps where I don't want to leave. It's like the perfect spot. Last night was amazing. Sat in my chair, watching that light show. Uh, I've had a good look around. I've left nothing. I actually left two pegs, but I found them, so I did a sweep. Always do a sweep. Yes. I've got me, um, oh, I've been looking for one of these back-to-front caps for years. Finally found one in the shop. The back-to-front cap shop. Yeah, why do you wear it back-to-front? Well, because it keeps the sun off your neck. The back of your neck, you see? That's why, that's why. Aye, uh, so that's it, that's my camp. So my thoughts on the fox, the feeks, 
I like my big tents, right? Well, I like to have a lot of move, room to move around and sit up. So if it was raining last night, I would have been fed up. Because I would have been just stuck in there. And you can't sit up in it. Which, you know, it's not great. For lightweight backpacking adventures, though, it's mint. You just go to bike packing or whatever. Take a top. Take a lightweight top. Stick that over it. You probably could cook in the porch if you pull the door right out. There's, there's a space, but I'd be uh, I'd be careful doing that. Like, um, yeah, it didn't feel confined in it. I wasn't claustrophobic. It wasn't too hot. I thought it would have been like over warm, you know. But no, it was all right. Nice and ventilated. No condensation. Good tent. I'd recommend it like no I'm not getting paid to say this I can call it worse than muck if I want I don't like the fact you can't sit up in it but that's that's not the tent I bought it knowing that I just wanted to try it out I'll use it again as long as the weather's all right like this I'll use it again because there's no weight in it like 1.6 kilos it's an out so yeah so i'm just heading over this chinese fort built by the romans in the brass age 1862 i think that was a good year 1862 on a summer's afternoon uh, or was it 92 i don't know never knew the words to that song it's a stupid song anyway all uh, right so if you enjoyed this video give it the old pop up your thumb if you hated it therefore you hate me which people do that's fair enough there's people I hate you know who you are but uh I give it a thumbs down doesn't really matter it all helps Ugh. drop a comment tell us your thoughts or your experiences of the fox all the rest of it if you've got one or if you want one until you go outdoors right never ever take for granted what the price on the shelf is so that, that said 80 quid and it was 65 go i think online is where you look so you find the product you want have a look online see what the price is also google search it and if it's cheaper anywhere else and it's in stock they'll match that price and give you what is it? I think they give you 10% off or 20% something like that. So you could potentially pick that tent up for about 50 quid. That's not bad. Anyway, right, that's it. I'll leave you with the views and the sounds of nature. <laughs>